Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at some more action figure multi-packs from Hasbro and in today's review we're going to take a look at some very cool characters from Star Wars The Force Awakens. In today's review we are going to take a look at none other than the very popular astromech BB-8. A really, really cool figure that I'm absolutely thrilled to own in 3 and 3 quarter inch form. We also have one of Uncar Plutt's Thugs from the villagers on Jakku. And we also have the scavenger and the little fella who attempts to steal BB 8, Tito, or the Jakku scavenger as he's known on the packaging. This is an absolutely excellent pack. Um, when it was first released just after Force Friday back in 2015, it was perhaps one of the most hard to find sets from the Force Awakens line. Uh, I know I myself looked absolutely high and low for this one. Um, it's an awesome set with some very cool characters. Um, so obviously it was flying off the shelves at the time. Um, but with some of the recent reshipments of some of these figures, um, it appears to be showing up at retail a little bit more often. So if you want to pick this one up, the odds are you'll be able to. And again, alternatively, if you want to uh, pick this one up online, then hit the link in the video description which will take you to staractionfigures.co.uk Now before we take a look at the figures that come in this pack, well, let's take a look at the packaging. Once again we have this really nice display box for these Action Figure 2 packs. We've got the Force Awakens packaging design going on there with Kylo Ren and the Force Awakens logo pictured at the top. Down below that we have some really cool artwork of all of these characters. And once again, um, most of these characters um, attempt to steal BB-8 in the film and I'll discuss that in more detail in just a little bit. Just at the side of that we have the window where the figures are displayed and on the reverse side we have some more action figures available in the line such as the Obi-Wan and Commander Cody 2 pack, the Armour Up Luke Skywalker figure and Ray's Speeder. Also we have another image of that very cool artwork. I've got to say, um, of all the Force Awakens packaging designs, this is one of my favourite pieces of artwork. I absolutely love the look of the characters and the way it's being put together is really nice. So really cool packaging for this one. Now let's take a look at the figures inside and we'll kick things off with possibly a highlight of the set for many people. And that is of course the 3 and 3 quarter inch version of BB-8. Now in a recent review I gave you a look at the 6 inch BB-8 figure um, and in many ways that was the definitive version in my opinion of BB-8 in action figure form. This one however is not bad at all, um, it's a nice sculpt, it's a nice paint job. The only thing I think that it's really lacking is uh, a decent bit of weathering. Um, he's a little bit too clean for my liking um, but other than that it's a superb figure, really nicely put together by Hasbro. Um, very limited articulation obviously due to the uh, ball nature of this one, the ball like nature that he has. Um, so we just get one simple ball joint at the top of the head, which as you can see moves around like so. We actually have a double joint in this one. Um, there is a ball and socket joint inside the ball itself and there's also a ball and, uh, ball and socket joint located in the head as well which just allows us to get a little bit more movement out of the figure. In fact, no, I'm selling lies. It's just a swivel in the head. As you can see, however, the uh, paint job is very, very nice. Really crisp, clean details, nice and sharp. And as you can see, the bottom of BB-8 has been smoothed off so that this one stands uh, reasonably well on a flat surface. Uh, there is a variant of BB-8 available with the Battle Action Millennium Falcon. Um, from reports and reviews that I've read, um, there are some slight differences uh, between the two BB-8 figures. Uh, what they are exactly, I'm not entirely sure. Um, what I've read um, seems to suggest that the Millennium Falcon version of BB-8 is a little bit weightier than this one. Um, this figure is very light. Um, it almost feels um, hollow inside, um, but it does the job well. And In this particular set, it's more of an accessory than an actual figure. But I'm really glad that it was included nonetheless. So that is BB-8. Next up we have one of Uncar Plutt's thugs. 
and this is one of the characters that confronts Ray uh, in the marketplace on Jakku um, during the scene um, just after Ray um, approaches Unkar Plutt um, to potentially sell the droid and then obviously she changes her mind um, Unkar summons some of his thugs to uh, capture the droid and attack Ray, and that's what we see in the movie. Very cool scene. Uh, Ray really holds her own in that scene. She kicks the butt of these guys, and then obviously goes on the run with Finn. So very cool figure. I really like the look of this guy. He definitely has a sort of scum and villainy look to him, in terms of the colour and the sculpt that's going on. Almost looks like something out of Mad Max with the goggles and this sort of steampunk look to the mask which I really, really like. As you can see, this guy's wearing a sort of padded jacket. Um, it's a wonder he doesn't absolutely sweat his bits off in this jacket on the uh, desert plains of Jakku. And he's also wearing these lengthy robes as well, as you can see, which are very, very cool indeed. In terms of accessories, this guy comes with a blaster pistol, a very unique and interesting looking design. Really like that one. And again, the sculpting on this guy is superb, as you can see. There's even a, a sculpted decal there, just on the cap of his headgear. And again, some really nice detail on the figure itself. Really nice textures sculpted and applied. Just very cool overall. Really nice figure indeed. In terms of our, uh, articulation, this guy features a ball joint at the head. We have swivels at the shoulders and swivels at the hips as well. It's a very cool figure indeed. Next up we have the Jakku scavenger known as Tido. Once again a creature who attempts to steal BB-8 in The Force Awakens. Um, I believe that Tido is the character um, that Rey first meets or, for, uh, or confronts at least uh, when she first meets BB-8, um, obviously after BB-8 has fled the scene of the First Order massacre in the Jakku village, um, it's on his way to find a safe haven, um, he's rolling around over the dunes on Jakku, and this guy, aboard his lugger beast, finds BB-8 and attempts to put him in the net. Obviously Ray interferes, um, saves the droid, and Tito goes on his way. What I really like about this guy, again, is that he's really short in stature, and he almost has a Jawa feel to him in the sense that he's this very desert looking creature, very weird and again has that really cool scavenger look and feel to him which is really really nice. Uh, again in keeping with the theme of Unkar's thug he's got this almost steampunk uh, helmet or headgear going on I'm not entirely sure where the face is meant to be um, on this guy I would assume that these are the goggles that cover up the eyes and then the nose and mouthpiece just there although Without unmasking this guy, I'm really, really not sure. Very interesting character to say the least. As you can see, the rest of the body is wrapped in these really cool bandages. You've got ammo pouches and straps across the chest, and some form of container attached to the back, and these really weird sort of flipper designs on the feet, which look a little bit strange. As you can see, he's a little bit pot-bellied and wide-hipped, so a very odd-looking creature not entirely sure of the species and in terms of accessories he does come with this lengthy staff which you can see while he rides the lugger beast I really hope that we eventually see a lugger beast creature or vehicle if you want to call it that that would be really cool to go with this figure and recreate those uh, very cool scenes from The Force Awakens now again like with Unkar's thug uh, this guy has very limited articulation he has a ball joint at the head, swivels at the shoulders, and swivels at the hips. So not a whole lot going on in terms of posability, but in terms of overall look, general sculpt and overall appearance, this guy is very, very cool indeed. It's a really nice figure to have in the collection. And again, alongside Unkar's Thug, they make for a very creepy yet threatening duo. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the review, Tito does attempt to capture BB-8 in the film using a net and that's what we get as an accessory with these figures. Not only do we get the net, which as you can see is attached to two missiles there on this rather large launcher, but we do get missiles themselves 
and this rather hefty and very cool looking net launcher which as you can see has some really nice sculpted details and um, if you are um, a constructor of dioramas or anything like that then this is going to make a really cool piece for a, a junk pile scene or something like that from Tatooine or Jakku so a really nice inclusion it is meant to be a, a blaster for the characters to carry around which is evident by the handle and trigger on the bottom although as you can see it's a very large piece and once it's placed in the hands of the figure as you can see it just is way oversized it looks a little bit silly but again as a sucker for 1990s gimmicks and play features this one is really cool and again it just features flick fire missiles that you tap on the end and the net will fire out the only downside to this launcher is the fact that the net is rather small so you can't completely wrap BBA up in it but you can drop him if you want <laughs> pardon my butterfingers but as you can see the net is rather small, pretty undersized, it doesn't quite capture BB-8 inside, so that's a little bit of a shame, but nothing to take away from the overall set, you know, it's a nice inclusion, um, these packs retail for, I believe, around fifteen ninety nine. so, you know, you want to get a lot of plastic for your money, and in this particular set, you definitely get that, you know, you get three action figures, um, two, if you count BB-8 as an accessory, and obviously the massive uh, rocket launcher, or net launcher which is nice as well so not a, a whole lot negative to talk about with this set uh, I'm a big fan of it and I highly recommend it so again if you want to pick this one up for yourself be sure to hit the link in the video description and I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Uncar's Thug, Tito and of course BB-8 himself and I'll be back in a future review to give you a look at perhaps the largest BB-8 figure that I've seen out there at the moment um, that will be the Disney Store exclusive interactive BBA, and I really can't wait to review that one for you. And it comes with a ton of lights and sounds, a really cool sculpt, and it's just a fantastic toy. So make sure you stay tuned for that one. In the meantime, thank you for watching this review, guys, and I'll be back very soon with many more. So until then, as always, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.